again and welcome to another video from me Mr Arnold. Uh, in this video we're going to look at the perpendicular bisector of a line. So it's one of the constructions we need to know for GCSE and it's fairly straightforward. Generally in the exam they will give you a straight line and they will ask you to construct the perpendicular bisector of it. So all you need is a ruler and a compass. So I'm going to start by taking out the compass. Right and all we do is I want to line up my compass so it's roughly around three quarters of the line. It's roughly around three quarters of the line, and I'm going to set it. Okay, this is this is the distance I'm going to keep the whole, for the whole construction, so it doesn't change. You you got to make sure that it stays the same the whole way. And what we're going to do is I'm going to draw an arc above the line, and swinging it around, I'm going to draw an arc below the line. So we've got to draw an arc above and below the line. Then I'm going to take it to the other side of the line. Again, keeping my compass exactly the same. And swing it around. And again, I'm going to draw, draw the arc. Draw another arc. And then swing it around. Again, not changing the, the distance between the compass point, the compass needle, and the pencil. Make sure it stays the same for the whole construction. Draw another arc below. Take our compass away, and we're almost done. Last part, take out your ruler. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. Take out the ruler, and what we want to do is, we want to draw a straight line through these two meeting points. So, where the two arcs crossed, I'm going to draw a straight line through them. And just move that a little bit. So taking a pen, draw a straight line through my arc. Now that's not perfectly accurate because of the tools I'm using, but I'm just going to move that across a bit. Obviously, it's a lot easier to do when you're physically using a ruler. But as you can see, I have constructed a straight line that cuts the line in half, and it also cuts it at right angles, so I know it's perpendicular. And that is how you construct a perpendicular bisector of a line. That's all there is to it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again sometime. Cheers.